Hey everyone, um, welcome to uh, part four in the pre-processing and PIX Insight series. And today we're going to be talking about uh, local normalization. It's a video that's going to be more geared towards showing you the settings um, because um, it can take a while and I don't feel like you need to sit there and suffer through all the processing that, that happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you where to find it and what settings to apply. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right to it. The first thing you do is you go process, all process, and then you look for local normalization, which is right here. So this is the box you want open. Okay and the first thing you want to do is load in your reference file okay but before I get too far ahead basically uh, local normalization is sort of um, a process that cleans up your subframes further and it you know it cleans up things like satellite trails uh, removes aircraft streaks and it cleans up gradients in your subframes and it standardizes it standardizes standardizes it across the subframes, and it uses this the reference file as a basis of comparison to you know clean up all the subframes. So without any uh, that's sort of the nuts and bolts explanation of what it does. And I do want to uh, make it clear that all these tutorials are pretty much geared for beginners. Um, there are um, there is so much information uh, when it comes to picks inside it's, it's amazing you know it's like I don't think there's anyone out there that truly knows everything unless you're the software developer of the program itself it just will do so much it's an amazing piece of software so I do want to you know get it out there that these um, pre-processing videos are geared towards beginners okay a lot of these settings I have used and have had no problem with but I know that there are other um, astrophotographers that know way more about pics and sight than I do I really feel like these videos are just sort of designed to get you started and that's mainly their intent so without any further ado let me show you uh, what we are doing here to set up local normalization okay uh, you want to make sure you load your reference file in and that's coming from your registration folder remember the registration folder contains files that were pretty much done in the uh, registering or alignment of sub steps we called that star alignment and right after that is when local normalization you know is to take place and so anyway you need your reference file and that is right here remember we determined that when we were in step or actually step two when we were measuring subframes using subframe selector okay so you select the reference file you load it in and then you want to make sure that you know you can I suggest exploring what these settings could be right here but for me uh, I've just made mainly sure that generate normalization data is checked I encourage you to, to explore these um, options and these settings further uh, and then the main thing is that you make sure it's all going into uh, the reg folder okay you want to make sure that that's where you're going okay so your output folder should be the reg folder so you select that and that's your output directory okay and then of course you want to load in your target files okay and your target files will come from your reg folder as well okay so if you click 
add files here, you can see it should be these. These should be the ones you include in your um, target images. Okay, and then after after you have everything set up the way you want it here in here. This is what I recommend you do to get started, okay? Um, you, this is really an important thing to check here, generate normalization data, okay? Load in your reference file, load in your target files, load in your, you know, deter, you know, determine your output directory, and then you're ready to go. Then after that, you hit apply global. And then it runs through the process of normalizing or standardizing and again, cleaning up all your your subframes, okay, the ones that have been starlined or registered. Okay, so um, this concludes step four in the pre-processing in PixInsight series, and the next step will have us actually stacking these subframes, and so I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, the settings that's pretty involved in terms of settings um, for stacking uh, But anyway, I don't want to go too much into that in this particular video because the focus of this video is setting up for local normalization the nor the normal Local normalization step. Okay. I hope you found this video useful and um if you've got any questions or things you want to you know feedback is always certainly welcome and uh, I would definitely love to hear from you about how I can make this process better, okay? So until the next video, clear skies, everyone.